Hi, I'm Susie Lee and I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and simple chicken, broccoli and oyster sauce. First of all, you'll need 250 grams of breast meat or two small chicken fillets sliced up uh, finely. Then we add in half a teaspoon of corn flour. Then half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then one teaspoon of soy sauce and I use light soy here. Now you can add in some salt, just a wee pinch and some white pepper. We use white pepper because it's just more fiery um, in Chinese cooking um, instead of black pepper. But if you only have black pepper, that is fine as well. Now I give this a good mix and stir. So it's well incorporated and let it marinate for at least 10 minutes, but this can be made in advance. Now in a pot, put in 500 milliliters or half a liter of cold water. Bring this to a boil. And once this comes up to a boil, put in your chopped up florets of broccoli. With the broccoli, we are not going to throw out um, the water that it has been cooking in when we have drained the broccoli. Uh, we're going to use that to, to sort of loosen and give us more sauce uh, for the oyster sauce in this dish. While we wait for the water to boil for the broccoli, we we'll want to then sear our chicken. If you've marinated your chicken, you can go ahead and sear it off. Um, I would wait for another five minutes or so and then start cooking it. In a really hot wok or frying pan, put in some oil. I use vegetable oil, um, rapeseed oil to be specific, but vegetable or sunflower oil is perfectly fine. Wait for it to get nice and hot. and I would fry off the chicken in two batches. Okay, nice and hot here. You want the chicken to just have cooked on both sides, just there. You don't want it to cook any more than that. So a couple minutes on each side and then fry off the other batch. So I'll put this into a wee bowl um, and then we'll cook the rest. Now that that's been fried off, pour the rest of it into a bowl. Add a little bit more oil here because now you're going to fry off your onions. So one small onion finely sliced. a small pinch of salt and what this does is it speeds up the cooking process and a little bit of water so I'm going to steal a little bit of water from the pot or the broccoli this also helps to deglaze the pan or the wok You want to keep all the lovely flavours that the chicken had left, so you don't want to waste that. The 
pot is now coming to a boil. Add in your broccoli. And we just want to bring it up to a boil for about three minutes to five minutes maximum. You don't want the broccoli to be soggy. If you like them soft, then obviously cook them further, but I like them still kind of just, just that it's cooked, but it's going to cook even further in the sauce when you're finishing off this dish. Now that the broccoli has come up to the boil, it's been boiling for a good couple of minutes, I am going to um, keep cracking on with this part. So at this stage, we are going to add in um, half a teaspoon of chopped up minced garlic and half a teaspoon of minced ginger. Um, you can buy these frozen, already chopped up, or you can use the squeezy bottles, it's up to you, or if you really don't have them, you can use dried, so use half a teaspoon of dried garlic and dried ginger powder. So, um, and also in here, I'm using um, a chicken stock powder, but use half a uh, chicken stock cube as well. So I'm just gonna throw this right in. And let this fry off. So you want to be able to start smelling that the aromas are being released uh, and in times that's called bao home so you can smell that the ginger and the garlic are starting to fry off and just putting in that half a stock cube um, of chicken uh, stock cube just gives it an extra boost of flavour as well. So fry that off and I can already smell because my wok is so hot that this is really really starting to get very flavoursome. So now to build your sauce, you are going to add in your oyster sauce. Okay. This is two tablespoons. Okay. And here I am going to add in some of my liquid from the broccoli. Don't waste it, all the goodness of the broccoli is in here. So just keep it and fry this all off. Okay, and let this bubble away. Um, and your, this is the base of your sauce. Okay, at this stage you can see it's quite watery. Um, so therefore I want to make it slightly thicker. So in Chinese cooking, we use a corn flour paste and what this is is just cold water and corn flour or uh, corn starch. You mix it up so it turns into this kind of murky milky water. I bring this up to a boil, roaring boil and you add in a couple of teaspoons and you'll see instantaneously it will thicken. Okay, so you add as much or as little as you want. Okay, so that's got quite thick now. Now I add back in the chicken. Let this cook through. Make sure you get all the lovely juices in. Toss those around and let this bubble away for a minute or two. And then your final bit is to add in your broccoli. As you can see, I have also used the stalks. I love those, it's super crunchy and we're not wasting any of the broccoli. So everything goes in. Perfect. Okay, and just toss everything through. If you actually like a lot more sauce, to your dish, then add in more oyster sauce um, and more of the broccoli liquid to give you more. And then add in the corn flour paste to then thicken it up if you require. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil here. And then at this stage, I am going to give this a little bit of a taste. Perfect. For me, that is actually perfect, but you can add in a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, 
it is up to you. You taste it and see what you think. You may want more oyster sauce if you want it stronger or a bit of soy, but there you go. It is as simple as that. And my sauce has got a little bit more watery. So at this stage, I could add more corn flour paste, but I'm actually happy with this uh, because I can then toss it through my bowl of rice and it'll be super, super tasty. And that's it, as simple as that. And you can garnish it with some spring onions if you want. Um, and this is my simple way. Some scissors and just cut on the diagonal. And this just gives it just some extra color. But if you don't have spring onions, you don't have to use them, but it just gives it um, just good color and also just a different texture to your dish. That's it. Toss them through, ready to serve. As you can see, that was a simple recipe to make. You can make it with different vegetables, different meats. Um, it is that simple. Just a couple of minutes if you had everything prepped, ready to go. And that's it, a lovely, healthy dish um, for the family. Enjoy.